You're now watching a clip from the Inspired by show. You can watch the full episode on our YouTube channel or listen on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. So make sure to head over there, leave us a five-star rating if you enjoyed it, and follow the show. When it came to being in reality TV, everyone, and I'm sure you probably talk about it loads, you know, people want to know what's really like and that sort of stuff. Um, how different was it for you compared to real life? So, you know, in these conversations, like in the relationships, the friendships, like do people make real friendships through TV? Yeah, again, I think there's two types of people. I personally can, hand on heart, say I've never kind of flexed my morals or um, tried to have an opinion that I don't actually have uh, through the journey. Like I'm trying to stay as real as, as I can. Mm. There's definitely an element of the business side of what it takes to be successful and, and, and sort of gain traction on the show and, and stay around as like a long standing cast member um, whereby you you do need to buy into the fact that you, you need to create good TV. Like mm -hmm. you are encouraged, you are paid to bring the drama and, you know, to do so sometimes if your life doesn't revolve around drama, which clearly mine seems to, you <laughs> have to kind of, I guess, um, formulate it yourself and kind of go out of your way to do so. And that's when it starts to become a bit like, you know, some people do it and you're like, oh, mate, it's, it's so fake. What are you doing? Like I can see it from a mile off, but, people do do that so mm, yeah yeah do you see it more because you've been in reality tv so like for example what i found was when i went through some of my experiences i spotted traits in other people because i've lived and breathed it so you know do you see it more when you're on reality tv now and you see people like playing up and things like that yeah you can fully see it as actually interesting i was watching the i was watching love island the final i, I haven't had the time to sort of watch the whole thing but just because i'm the uh, all stars i know a few people from it so i was in interested i was sitting there with tristan and we were watching it and because obviously we have a background in tv we were like okay we could just pick apart we're like that's set up that is a fixed rig mm -hmm. shot that's uh like loose rig that's mm -hmm. clearly produced that's not like and uh, i was actually having dinner with casey last night he was on the show um for this primetime launch we had mm -hmm. um and just hearing about it from his side and i was like okay, yeah like you, you you definitely gain an insight and, of course you and do understand like yeah. yeah you can spot it a mile off yeah. <laughs> and I, i'm not in tv but i'm in production with this and with the book publishing business and so even i see it like someone walks over to someone you're like well they weren't going to do that before like nowhere is that ever popped up into the conversation you can kind of just tell when it's being produced but that make that's what people know that what they're going in for right mm. now i'm curious for you obviously you've had you have had lots of friendships and relationships through the show how how challenging it can it be having you know ex-girlfriends in reality TV, like you mentioned, Sophie went into it. Sophie Hibby went into it after or before you, through you, whichever way around you talk about it. Having Emily as an ex on the show as well. How does that, how, I can't even imagine having ex girlfriends when there's <laughs> cameras around, you know, surely that makes it just a hell of a lot more complicated. It's bizarre. It's honestly like we, we, we say, it, like there is no, in what world would you be sort of hanging out with your ex girlfriend? Like, yeah. so for example, I, we went out to Bali a year and a bit ago for an away series with, with Main Chelsea um and i was out there with emily and this was sort of a year post our breakup and in what world would i be out on a holiday in bali like living i wasn't in the same villa there was two villas but we're down the road from each other with my ex and then her boyfriend at that time came out so i was there with like my ex and her boyfriend and i was there and it was just like in what world you know yeah um but i guess you kind of compartmentalize it by going yeah this is business mm. yeah and it isn't life like it is partly business and it's partly it's reality like the very much do follow the core like emotions and there's a backbone to it which is all genuine mm. um but in a structured way yeah 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 it is it is very interesting and i think when you're like i'm sure in a way series is probably a little bit more pressured because there is like you know only so places you can go do you guys speak off camera like with exes or ex friendships or is it very much like cut right you know shake your hand see you mate see yeah, you colleague bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> no there's like i genuinely have some really good mates um and, and friendships and i've had an amazing relationships off off, mm -hmm. off the show so there's, there's definitely there's a lot of realness as i was saying like yeah you know, emily and i it was very much full love we mm -hmm. lived together it was it was very much a real thing mm -hmm. and it very much ended in a real way um same with sort of res tris like very good mates of mine and they will be when the show's done when mm. i'm done with it if they leave it whatever uh, that will that will stick around mm. but then there's probably also an element of uh, yeah of, of, of i guess it's colleagues it's the same way that you know if you're working in a, in a business you will go for a beer after work with someone because it's your colleague but you're mm. probably not going to invite them to a wedding you know yeah. I mean? <laughs> yeah 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 yeah